Hey, we're back! Staring at the tree. Yep, it, except this time, we're going to reenact perhaps uh, one of the season finales of Prison Break. With <gasps> a prison break? Except with far less people and much more Japan. We don't get enough of that, do we? Isn't that right, Adam san? Indeed, Jeremy Kuhn. But yeah, what to do? Yeah, apparently uh, Maki finally recognizes the police station. Anyway, yep, I'll search. I mean, seriously, it's not as if the key is going to be in a one big box that says key on it. I mean, when the hell has that last happened? I mean, what's the odds of that? It's just like a million to one. I mean, we got to find uh, the crest along with a bunch of um, water plates, virgin sacrifices, and then sacrifice them to Holy Altar of Gozer. And then maybe, just maybe, we might get the key. Or we can do this. <laughs> you were saying? Do -do. Really? Yeah, really. Then again, this is the really? real. Then again, this is the real world with demons. Really? 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 <laughs> yes. Up, oh, demon attack. Awesome. Oh, Agathion and Zombie Cops. Fortunately, these are not the Zombie Cops we're familiar with. No, or, or, no, sh or no. should I say, unfortunately. Sadly, we cannot exterminate the rest of Raccoon PD. Nope, there are still some stragglers. It's so embarrassing to see so much praise. Well, oddly, if... Let's see, this game came out about... 97, was it? 96. 96, jeez. Yeah. Two years before it happened in Resident Evil 2. Yeah, oh, that's not true. Oh, if you were true, we considered helping you. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's try singing. Oh, I envy you. Alright, uh, let's uh, pontificate. The meaning of life. Uh, apparently, uh, Agathion hates lectures. Uh, well, it makes sense. Boy, do I hate lectures. Shut up, Kadaj. I, I thought you hate liars. Uh... <sighs> okay, pure, pure, good, good humans, evil demons, pure nonsense. Cooperation is vital. <laughs> I do hate lectures. Then again, I have to deal with them all the time in my games. Mm. Not to try to bribe me with an item. Oh, all the qualifications of a gentleman. I need a spell card, please. <sighs> it's all a bunch of bullshit, really. Shut up. You're not gonna be in another three games. Well, four, technically. Oh well, I gotta have something to do. Don't let me do much else in prison. Have you seen their meals? I see them. Fucking terrible. But again, we are in uh, the police station. So yeah, don't worry. Oh, that's right. <laughs> don't worry, we'll see them first hand. Unless uh, all the cooks are dead. Which they probably are. Oh, leprechauns! These are not leprechauns I know. It's not even the leprechaun from the shitty horror movies that somehow went back in the hood and then went space. What the hell? At least the space one was actually kind of funny because towards the end, he like when the space station's exploding, he flips the bird. <laughs> and then we had other horror movies that. Or horror series that invent you into space. Um, Jason X, anyone? As if it could get any more ridiculous. Wasn't there a Chucky in space or something? No, there wasn't. No, the most recent one more or less went back to uh, its roots. By being creepy as hell. Uh, solar power lantern. Don't you got anything useful? Uh, I have a good thought, so. <laughs> <laughs> Here, have a side photo! <laughs> I didn't know that. I'm searching for this man. Do you know who he is? No, but I do know where sailors are. I can't eat this. <laughs> and then look right above, there's a sign that says the docks. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What was his name? Ryu? Yes. Seriously, Ryu. You... 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 Been that long looking for where sailors are, he couldn't even look up at a sign. 
Hey, don't spend it all one place! What we get? Amethyst! <laughs> Back, not in the best shape, but he's still active. Okay, I won't put it in storage. I need to use it for fusion later. <sighs> yeah, I'll put it in my storage of my many, many magic cards. And we're not playing Magic the Gathering. Damn it! <sighs> I suck at this game. Oh, wait. I. I only got to play the game when I was like fucking 10 and I like, didn't know what the fuck I was doing. I never got to play it, so you're, you, you got one up on me. Anyway, we have a Funks and another familiar demon, Ukabak. Another starting demon that you generally deal with for recruit in SMT. This is this is the standard beginning SMT demon lot, so... Well, then again, it's to be expected, they are low level. True, and they're usually the first fire users that you usually grab, so there's that mm -hmm. much. Oh! Eh, that'll happen. Ah, they're weak to guns. Yeah, well, namely Nanjo's sniper rifle. But yeah, uh, yeah, unlucky stats. Like I said, luck decreases sharply, and I think it has, definitely has something to do with your dodge rate. Anyway, uh, yeah, like I said, you should put Maki in the way back if you want her to attack with a bow and arrow. Anyway, um,. Yeah, Water Wall, by the way, it absorbs uh, incoming ice attacks for like one or two turns. <laughs> but yeah, believe it or not, guns each even have their own uh, properties. In terms of, uh, I think, machine guns, pistols, shotguns, and rifles. So some enemies are weak to certain guns. And oddly, yeah, guns are kind of re are generally a secondary fight option most SMT games from the original SMT on the, well, not the original, but Shin Megami Tensei on the Super Nintendo. Speaking of which, and, speaking of which aren't you happy to actually put it on iOS, but then again, we, you, we, none of us can play it. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Hmm. Tis a shame. Indeed. Anyway, yep, yeah, um, Nanjo's rifle... Oh wait, rifle. it's also on Android, isn't it? What? It's on Android, isn't it? Um, how would I know? But yeah, Nanjo's, uh, Nanjo's rifle is very good at any range. So if you want, you can put him in the back and he can strike any enemy with his rifle. I think some rifles can attack multiple enemies, whereas some rifles can hit one enemy for repeated damage. The machine gun, on the other hand, obviously does the... The former. But like I said before, pistols only fire one shot. Normally, some pistols might shoot more than once. But uh, they can be pretty powerful, because, you know, one shot, one kill, technically. Also, Pool of Fortune's a bit different in the next game, and you should definitely watch out for it. Because it robs you of half your yen. Yen, Maka, you name it, you lost it. Although, I think there's even a worse ability, when it reduces your Persona's rank to 1. Ugh. I know it exists in either Innocent Sin or Eternal Punishment, I can't recall which. Oh, uh, thanks! It, what's behind all this are really aliens. Oddly, that wouldn't be too far off if we are talking about the second game. <laughs> well, more on that later. Oh, whatever I had to say? Spell card, please! Hit me! And, um, use Lifestone on Maki. Hey! Thank you! Thank you, come again. But yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna be collecting a whole set of spell cards, and at the end of this part, we're gonna show you where to use those spell cards. It's gonna be a place of very much familiarity. For, to those who have played the other games first, and not this one, obviously, because it's so antiquated. Well, it was at least on the PS1. Yeah, considering at the time what was out around then. Mm -hmm. Let's see, you had Ark the Lad, you had Final Fantasy VII that came out in 97. Mm -hmm. Which, and then you had stuff like Wild Arms. Wild well, Arms is pretty awesome. Oh, uh, let's see. What w there, there was another game, Alundra. Oh, I love that game. I haven't played that in so long. I should probably get that on PSN. Anyway, and then, yeah, anyway, we're nearing um, a recruitment as well as an awakening battle. And then on the Saturn, you also had Grandia. Yeah, that's true. And then it got re-released on the PS1. Anyway. And around and around that same time, Soul Hackers as well as uh, Demon Sumner on the PS3 
one or well on the it also came out on the PS1, but it's basically the prequel to Soul Hackers. Mm. Hey, very well. And, <laughs> yeah. And oddly, that version actually came out on the PSP, but nobody's bothered to translate it. Mm. Get on it! Oh well. <laughs> you have no idea how hard I am to speak to a demon of your status. Be awesome! Pretend you're dead! Very well. <laughs> I, I I like I like these demons. Yeah. Albeit, uh, I'll say this much, negotiation of Persona 2, uh, if you choose one option, so, or at least the wrong option, sometimes you'll get into chains of conversations with demons that could go either way. So th there's at least some of a forgiveness factor there. Here, uh, uh, kinda? No, actually, uh, the thing is, by that I mean, uh, well, sometimes you might, you might just make them even angrier. And so if, if you manage to make them happy and stuff, they'll cancel the chain. Now, there you can go back to your regular contacts. Anywho, we're going to do a little bit of grinding here so that I can actually get uh, the protagonist leveled up because, like I said, there's going to be an awakening battle, which means one of our classmates is going to get their persona. And we're definitely, definitely going to need the levels, aren't we? Mm-hmm. If you want to get, if you want to have the ability to actually um, take on new personas, yes. Because like I said before, <coughs> your, your persona level, which, which is apart from your regular experience level, that determines uh, what level of persona you can use. Persona. Oh! At uh, rank 7, Simon Kongo learns Ma Garu, and Ma level skills can hit any enemy. A any and every enemy. But this is uh, a double-edged sword, especially if you're fighting against enemies that repel wind, or any other kind of attack that is launched against them. Oh, I should also know, I believe zombies are immune to guns. Speaking which like, makes... which actually makes sense. And there's even some... And there's even some demons that repelled guns for twice the damage. Which... which some can make rather relative sense. Yeah, because the thing is, uh, for example, if you're using a machine gun against uh, a demon that repels 200% gun damage, you're practically dead in the water. So be careful. <laughs> so... <laughs> you have a unique aura about ya! There's no way you can come with me. Come with me if you want to die. No, I want to live! <laughs> um, <laughs> more HP? Okay! And maybe you'll be guest co-starring with that... That one actor who was basically... Let's see, what's his name? In Robocop 1. And then basically in every other movie that seemed to have the cop title. He was—he was also Jellico in uh, TNG. Oh, right, I forget his name. Anyway, uh, <sighs> or it might rot. <laughs> yeah, zombie cop spell card get. Ah, nice. I believe it's time for a free level up. Yep, as soon as we distribute points. But yeah, by the way, the orange bar—I think, I think that happens to be uh, the stats of the persona you take on. I, I just figured they apply to varied bonuses of, you know, basically the armor that you equip. Actually, it is true as well. I think it's Persona stats as well as stat bonuses on equipment. Oh, brown! Uh, guys, uh, we're kind of here. It's a bit dark. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, brown's here too. You know what, yeah. I, you know what I noticed? <laughs> There's no honorifics in this game. Well, and yet, they're... and yet, in the PSP remake of Persona 2: Innocent Sin, there are honorifics. Well, to be fair, in Innocent Sin, those characters were not quite as connected as these guys are. No, 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 no. The thing is, uh, the, 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 I'm saying it's just so weird. Uh, well, to be fair, they're most of these characters are actually fairly close to each other other than Reiji. Uh, actually, uh, no, they're not all friends, at least not initially. Because, you know, Brown and ISA, they're more or less friends with each other and they're just there, I guess. Wow. He and he had, he and he had the smarts to come here for weapons. But he got caught with Mark. <laughs> <laughs> just shut up. Next time, guys, Go to the museum. There's plenty of guns there. 
Um, yeah, antiquated guns. But where, where would, but where would you get the bullets? I don't know about the thousand rounds that. <laughs> huh? That somebody else uses. Uh oh. Oh no. Uh oh. Masa, you're not allowed on your own. It's against the rules. He has. He doesn't realize it. But yeah, there's something definitely wrong here. The demon. Mm-hmm. And now he realizes it. This is this is par for the course with the Shin Megami game. Mm-hmm. If you if you want to figure out what I mean, uh check out the original on the Super Nintendo and see what happens to uh the MC's mother. <laughs> anyway, we have four zombie cops and a gremlin. No hard feelings, right, old man? Alright, and by the way, um, these invocations in this battle, I believe they actually count towards your persona's rank. Well, at least that makes sense. Yeah, well... So yeah, we whittled them down one by one. What the?! We have powers coming out of us. Yep, yeah. and I, yeah, even though they only, um, they don't really have much to say, if at all, yes, all the characters are voiced by... VAs, obviously, just like they were in um, Revelations, in terms of battle quotes. Uh, what the hell, man? Uh-oh, I think at least one of you down with me. So he goes for the weaker target. The one that doesn't even have any powers at the moment. Until now. Nemhain of the Justice Arcana. Nemhain. Yeah, yeah, Nemhain. I said that. Yeah. Anyway, yes, Nemhain um, has ties to Morrigan, actually. Actually, uh, Babkatha, Macha, and Nemhain are closely tied to Morrigan. And oddly enough, Morrigan's a persona, as is Macha in this game. Indeed. Anyway. Alright then, <laughs> uh, Brown, calm down. Calm down, man. He's oddly the only one that's actually acting naturally. Yeah. Because he played the Persona game along with you guys. The thing is, he, d he didn't think it would actually mean anything like this. And, oh dear. And like Ellie, he's delusional. Except he's a much worse case. At least, at least Ellie, the minute you told her, she's like, oh. That's cool, then. <laughs> but again, that's the problem with Brown. He has a huge ego. Trust me, by the time of the second game, when he does make a reappearance, he's too far gone. <laughs> Better not lose that thing. All right, thanks. Yes, um, a shotgun. Like I said before, Brown uses machine guns, just like the protagonist. Uh, I think we're fine without your star power. <laughs> it's your call. Mmm, nah. Yes, Brown is obviously one of four party members you could recruit as your fifth one. But no, we're not recruiting him in this run. At least not in, nope. this, at least not in this story. Later, chumps! We... At least, he's, at least he has the, the, uh, the common sense to go back to the school. Alright, I will. Yep, at the abandoned factory. So, yeah, that, that's where we're going next. Uh, I'm kind of with Nanjo on this that we should have left him in the cage. Yeah! <laughs> because a, a cage definitely suits monkeys, especially one like Mark. I'm serious, he has monkey ears. Mark, not so much. No, 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 seriously, have you noticed Mark has monkey ears? Yes. And again, that's also the way that his hat is part two. Yeah. Yeah! Hudlum! Hudlum <sighs> is, uh, well... I think he knows, um, Thunderkick as an attack, but, uh... Now we can... What, what is, he's actually very easy to contact. It makes his pals! <clears throat> Here, a down point... A down payment. Uh, a two-headed coin. Yeah, it makes his pals! 
Uh, stunning. Uh, oh! Hell yeah! I'm working hard, aiming high! Najo. K. Najo. The master of sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Then, stock statement, it's yours. <laughs> uh, well, you have no idea. It's yours, my friend, for the taking. Uh, now come back when you're a bit richer. Okay, anyway, uh, there you go. Deliver delivered a sarcastic remark. Huh. Uh, thanks, but uh, all I want is a spell card. Oh, we have a full deck, so we gotta throw one away. <sighs> well. Yeah, you can only have 12 at a time. No! Zombie son! No! Make sure you make one hell of a kick ass persona out of me! Okay. Whatever you say. And of course, no experience because we did not defeat any demons in that fight. And the fact that you didn't kill anything. Yeah, that too. Well, that's, yeah, no, I, that's why I literally just said we didn't kill any demons. Yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go downstairs and um, get out of here. Ugh. Yeah, you can actually dash. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Just first person is kind of disorientating for me. I know. Ah, a new demon. Bah! Humbug. Anyway. Bah! Duck back! Duck back! Fuck! <laughs> well, to be or not to be? That is a question that preoccupies all our people, Captain Cook. We need breathing room! Earth, Hitler, 1938. I beg your pardon. <coughs> <laughs> anyway. Oh, sweet trap. Deliver that delivers um, special physical damage. It randomly hits an, an, any enemy. Anyway, now we can contact Ba. Let's see, let's try a, a dance. Oh! Now pass right act. Show it off his smooth move. Show me your move. Oh yeah. Actually, no, I'm not like you. Oh, that ain't much different than me. My dance crazy. <laughs> that still makes me laugh when I see that. Oh, that hundred yen. Take it. Yeah. <laughs> but thanks. All right, next. Uh, what should we else should we do? Uh. Mmm, bribe. Oh! <laughs> I'm, happy, I'm happy you used it. And there we go. I'm climbing up the stairway of life! <laughs> Mark busted a move! Oh, why, well, thank you. A uh, spell card. Hit me! Unfortunately, we have We're a full... still full. Yeah, so we gotta discard another demon. Well, at least we got a full deck instead of a half deck. Yeah, let's get rid of Poltergeist. Whee! I like Leprechaun. It, this one's quite old. <laughs> hey, yeah, but yeah, obviously they'll have stock uh, responses depending on what kind of demon it is. What, did you, did you really expect them to have all kinds of different responses for every single demon in the game? That's asking too much. Hey. Oh, speaking of new demons, who's she? Another familiar face. Mm-hmm. Now, you may have noticed that, uh... Yeah, that there is actually an auto-battle feature. Yeah, in addition to pressing start to skip uh, battle animations, you can even choose auto-battle. Auto-battle, more or less, you can, you can choose uh, either to replay your previous actions, use your weapons, or you can even use your guns. Or you can have them do specific actions during the, all the battle. Such as um, making them either use their weapons, guns, or guard, or even direct commands. For example, say you could have uh, all your party members guard except for one character. Um, I don't mind. You're good guys, me like you! So yeah, you have one part you have one party member act while the other's guard. That way that one character could easily obtain experience. Makes sense in the long run, you know. Yeah, let's get rid of Zombie Boy. What doesn't make sense is the fact that demons themselves are superstitious of even supernatural numbers like 13. Then again, they're not so different from us in that regard. 
Well, true, they can awfully in Oriental culture, 13 is a lucky number. Hmm. Four and nine, on the other hand, yeah. not so lucky. <laughs> Alright, we're on our way to the abandoned factory, but first, we're gonna hit the mall. <laughs> Something's wrong? Yeah, I think so too. You don't know what a police station is. I wonder if we should let those two locked up once we add the card. Uh, one of them anyway. Yeah, uh, he's, he's a denial about the fact that uh, Baldy died. This is an SMT game, buddy. He's about as good as dead if he didn't get, you know, a demon summoning program or a persona. Mm -hmm. Normal humans don't stand a chance. No, they don't. All right then, let's uh, let's get out of here. I just wanted to fill in the the, the one room. All right, just make sure everybody's gear is maxed out and optimized. All right, we're ready to go. And apparently, uh, shotguns can take nine millimeter parabellum. What the hell? Uh, what is this? Parasite Eve one? I guess so. Ammo is universal in this case. Anyway, uh, yeah, this, this is the same scene we saw before. Nothing's changed. And I'll be sure to put that kind of roundage in my sawed-off shotgun. I imagine it will work well. About as effective as playing 9mm parabellum and a revolver. It totally won't explode. At all! Thanks, Pierce, for being an idiot. <laughs> no, 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 not, 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 not this Pierce, the other one. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, PE2. I should definitely do a normal mode run of that game. Anyway. Uh, let's see. In, in due time, good out of the Yep, but first, the Velvet Room! Yay! And, just to give you some familiarity, Igor's whole speech right here is literally the same. Pretty and much. of course, I could hear Dan Warren in my head saying it. It's more or less the same speech as it was in P3, except a bit different. Yeah, and for that, you'll never require our help. Yes, we know what a persona is. Well, but again, he puts it into much more basic terms. Why, uh, uh, then again, they may be there, difficult to understand. <laughs> I, I'd like to see if there was, like, a Persona Zero. Yeah, that would be cool. That would be nice. If there were um, actual Persona users other than the ones in this game, they can, you have, we have no idea how long they've existed, Persona users. Maybe... Thousands of years ago. <laughs> for all we know, ever since time began, who knows. Anyway. Maybe. Wait. Now let's get into the nitty-gritty of this place. Persona Fusion. I think Philemon would technically be the first Persona user. Perhaps. Anyway, look, this is the explanation of symbols. Pretty easy to remember. The fuck do they mean? Okay, here's what they mean. Um, pretty much, all you, all you need to do is combine two spell cards into, a, into one Persona. However, for any kind of fusion, you can even add an item to into the fusion. And some items have special effects. In terms of the symbols you see here, white means that nothing special will happen. Blue means it's rather beneficial. And by beneficial, I mean uh, more or less uh, an increase in a stat, as well as um, I think plus 20 to either magic attack or magic defense. The orange, however, means a higher chance for a fusion accident. And a lot of them are rather unfavorable. But uh, in terms of the arrows, uh, pretty much a horizontal arrow means a skill will be inherited from the first demon entering the recipe according to priority. In the case of Ame no Uzume, it'll get, uh, I believe it was, uh, what was the first demon I used? I think it was Pixie. Yeah. So in this case, Ame no Uzume will learn Pixie's Garu at rank 2. Oh yeah, also, um... When it's an upper arrow, uh, that means the skill, a skill will be inherited from the second demon entered in the recipe. And all stats will increase by one. 
Oh! I use sure an accident. Did I use an, I believe it's because I use an item. That means there is an added effect, I believe. Anyway, in terms of down arrows, that means that the skill will be inherited still from the second demon, but all stats will, be de will decrease by one. Oh yeah, upper arrows mean they'll get a favorable skill. Down arrows mean that more or less they'll get an unfavorable skill, I believe. Hmm, are you, Lama, the Emperor? Hmm. Yeah, as you can, as you can tell, um, every character has um, affinities with um, different arcana. Yeah, I'm going to call orders arcana. Just it's, it's easier that way. It's what you're familiar with. Yeah. Ooh, we could give uh, a, plus, um, a boost in agility right here. Now, in terms of items to use in regards to fusion, expendable items can give you a random effect, or, or I believe you can also teach a skill, depending on the consumable. There's also magic stones and magic tablets, which will give you a, a new skill guarantee, depending on the item that is, that is used. Equipment will increase a certain stat. Gems will change personas within that same arcana, making them either stronger or weaker. In terms of, you know, a weaker persona or a stronger persona. And finally, there's special items known as totems. Those are... They're similar to the material cards used in Persona 2. Basically meaning that if you want uh, the strongest personas that are represented by those, uh, by those uh, totems. But actually, some of them are rather weak. But other, to other times they're really, really rare. Is that you'll need uh, the totem plus uh, the, the personas, at least the demons that can be used to create the arcana that matches those totems. But there's a problem with that. Some demons, some personas that are that can be made with those totems, they require specific demons. So yeah, if you want certain ones. You're gonna have to hold on to their spell cards for a very long time because some demons might not be available after a long time. And Which, oddly, that issue is somewhat fixed in Instant Sin. Yeah, because there's an area where you can actually fight any of the demons you uh, previously encountered. Oh! Uh. I never got to talk about these items clean salts and emergency exits. Clean salts give you uh, estoma, and emergency exits are triasto. And Estoma is a very useful skill. Estoma pretty much uh, nullifies any weaker random encounters, and Triasto is basically your escape slash warp spell if you're not familiar with the series in that regard. Yep. Speaking of which, uh, there's another thing that we have to talk about. Oh? It has to do with um, giving back cards. Ah, uh, that's right. Um, when a Persona is at max rank, you can actually delete them, and in return you'll get a special item. Each Persona has a special item that they, 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 they can be turned into. In the case of the initial Personas that the, the characters use, they can be returned for normally stat increases, like stat incenses. Uh, but I, I will show as many of them as I can in terms of Personas that can be returned. Anyway, Mukosh uh, of the Empress uh, will teach will teach it um, Estoma. Of course, we'll have to raise uh, one of our characters level 15 in order to actually use that persona. But still. Yeah. Also, in terms of fusion accidents, there is a chance that uh, a fusion accident will occur, and there's like five different results. There's an order switch, which obviously means that... Uh, a persona will become a different arcana. Fool, obviously meaning uh, that they'll become a full persona, of which there's only three. And you can only get those from fusion accidents. Then there's also one that decreases all your persona stats by five. And there's also the inverse, which raises stats by five. Or, perhaps one of the better ones, uh, random inheritance. Meaning that uh, that persona can inherit a favorable skill from either of its parents. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, there's also one more thing. Um, if, it, if you fuse a persona that has, like, the best affinity with a character, and they're at least rank 6, and also, uh, meaning that they're also, um, well, if the character is at low HP, chances are they might, you might trigger a random effect. However, I, n I don't get to show it off in, in any of the 
videos because, well, it usually happens off screen for me. But, uh, yeah, they do happen. Sometimes they can be really favorable, and sometimes they can't be. It, but if you're looking for a specific uh, fusion accidents or whatever, there is a way you can do so. There is a way you could cheat the game into doing that. Uh, pretty much meaning that uh, you can actually... Um, if you count the number of steps you take in either the Kage Sun Mall or the Joy Street Mall before you enter the Velvet Room after a hard reset, by that I mean not, not reloading your save from the actual menu, but just starting the game up, you know, normally. If you, if you enter the Velvet Room after you take a certain amount of steps, you can actually change the outcome of the first fusion you do in the Velvet Room on that, uh, during that playtime. That sounds like something that you do during a speed run. Well, it can be very effective. But yeah, um, if you want to know what I'm talking about, uh, I'll show you guys by... Um, there is an example of some... I, I did do pull it off a few times on camera, I believe. Other t but other than that, I'll actually just give you the page that actually details how to pull off that cheat. Because believe it or not, it works not only in the Japanese version, but the English version, too. Hooray! But yeah, I'll, I'll put the, um, the website on the uh, description in this part. Anyway, I hope that was good enough for um, Persona Fusion 101. Next time! Next time will be um, when we go to the abandoned factory. A factory of fear. See you then.